If there's one thing we understand from all the writings of Atkinson and other New Thought authors, is that personal magnetism is not a phenomenon which is easily described. It has many factors involved. Atkinson differentiates two of the most important factors for personal magnetism as the two poles. Atkinson said, there are two distinct phases or poles of personal magnetism, the mental and the physical. These two poles, Atkinson describes, came in fruition due to several new thought authors reducing personal magnetism to simply thought transfers. In other words, individuals would be charismatic due to their power of projecting the thoughts from their mind to the mind of the others. And while this is certainly an undeniable fact of personal magnetism, Atkinson refers that it's not the only factor and the physical pull or the tension energy is also a crucial factor to have. He says, I hope to thoroughly convince you that this second pole of personal magnetism really exists and that it is equally potent with the first or mental phase or pole. Atkinson continues, the mental pole or phase of personal magnetism depends for its force and energy upon the ability of the mind to create thought waves and to project them beyond the limits of the brain into the personal atmosphere of the individual and even beyond the range of his own personal atmosphere when necessary. The key phrase here is ability of the mind to create thought waves and to project them beyond the limits of the brain. We all understand that the thoughts can be charged with true energy and true power. In the same way you can use them for manifestation and goal setting, you can also use them for any kind of influence. Yet, it's not that easy as making a few affirmations and repeating them. I wish it was. It would make everything a lot easier. But it's more profound than that. These thought waves Atkinson is referring to come deep inside of yourself. You may be a salesman repeating an affirmation or command like buy my product, but if this is not just a deeply coherent message from your whole being, then it will be rejected and won't be projected to the outside. Your conscious or your unconscious mind reject it. Hence, the importance of inner power, mental states and deep energetic awareness. You need to be able to dive deep into yourself and understand if the message that you are trying to send is coherent with everything inside of you or not. New thought writings of authors like Atkinson are filled with this kind of mind science teachings. Yet, very few of them present any kind of practical teachings, and when they do, they use abstract language that only more advanced students can understand. It's very easy for any modern reader to pass up on these kind of mind teachings as too abstract or even simplistic, but they are in fact very specific for those with enough knowledge to understand them. Once these thought waves are created in a coherent message, only then the projection can be done, and the projection in itself needs to be sent with tension energy, which is related to the physical pole that Atkinson refers. Just look at what Atkinson say about it. When accompanied with the physical magnetism generated by the other pole of magnetic activity, this mental magnetism strongly affects the other persons coming within the field of action of these thought waves. And he concludes, but without a good supply of the physical magnetism, these thought waves fail to have sufficient strength to produce smart results. The tension energy and a good amount of energy projection is what gives power to your projection. You may have a coherent message to send and a solid inner power, but if there is not enough tension energy inside of you to project it to others, they may feel what you are trying to project, but it will be weak. It will get clouded among the other dozens of messages everyone is trying to send. In other words, those with a stronger tension energy will win. It's like you are trying to is whisper your message while someone else is using a megaphone. As you can imagine, this is not related to how loud you speak. It's an energy and it's an intention. Like every other skill in life, for some people, this tension energy comes easy and natural. They never even heard of energy or personal magnetism, yet they have a large projection ability of tension energy. That's because this is a physical phenomenon. It comes natural to some, but for the rest of us, like me, and probably like you, we have to learn it. Learning it actually gives more power to you, since those who have it naturally have little to no control of it. They just use it all the time. While when you consciously learn the use of tension energy, you can actually manipulate it to your own particular goals. You can tone it down or amp it up. You can give it different qualities and use it in different ways depending on your circumstances and goals. Atkinson says, it would seem that the physical magnetism were needed to give body to the mental magnetism, 
just as the mental magnetism is needed to give color, character or soul to the physical magnetism. The two phases must work together to gain the best effects. This comes as a further proof that both of them are needed for personal magnetism. The tension energy gives the gunpowder, while the mental, and mental magnetism gives the aim and the target. Yet, we now know that the color or soul of the physical magnetism can be given using energy manipulation alone. Granted, it all comes from the mind, but you can change the quality of your energy and projection in many different ways. Even inside the mental pole, there are different ways of achieving the same thing. And it's the same with the physical pole. Energy work is quite powerful and not very developed in the Atkinson writings. We can't get stuck with just working on developing basic tension energy as the body of mental magnetism. There are four, far more advanced uses for it. This is like giving you a basic bodybuilding routine and tell you that you don't need anything else to have a good physical fitness. No, it's a good idea to join a stretching routine, some cardio exercise and keeping a flexible strength training. There are more to it than the simple, so to speak, tension energy exercises as taught in a training like the personal magnetism of Atkinson. As good as they are, and they are great for any beginner, but you can get much more out of it with advanced energy training. Access our website charismaschool.com to get more information on personal magnetism, charisma, magnetic gaze and sexual energy, including trainings on all these topics. You may wish to subscribe to our newsletter to receive all the updates of new videos, articles and courses.